All right, here we go once again. I uh, just got a little bit of wiring set up. Just want to show you guys, you know, getting excited and everything to have the system show up or uh, be wired up and start being able to use it. Uh, speaking of showing up, I got some of these battery parts in. Uh, they're actually for car audio stuff. One on the right's ground, one on the left power. The neat thing about the power is each one of these runs here or connections will be two batteries in series, so 24 volts. So these two here will be 24 volts, four batteries at 115 amp hours each. So, um, yes, yeah, so I have the ability to add four more here, uh, which I thought was pretty cool, so upgradable. And then I could just distribute the fuses divided by the number of, we'll call each one of these a, a battery. So divided by the number of batteries. So uh, got to have a 75 amp fuse, apparently for the MPVT charge controller. You can see it's wired up there. Uh, got two common grounds, so I need to look and find out if I can. Um, well, we'll get more into that later, I guess. I, I'm still learning the wiring a little bit. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, I'm just still thinking out loud, I guess. Anyhow, uh, I got the solar input here. Common ground, ground battery and then there's a place where the temperature sensor goes and the um, Ethernet and such goes up here and there's RS-232 and all kinds of things you can connect up to it and then there's proprietary stuff which you can connect up here it looks like a little telephone cord um, I actually hooked up two extra solar panels well I'm waiting on this figured you know why let them sit inside the living room and go to waste uh, so I just leaned them up against the house and plugged them in and I've been getting about oh maybe 250 to 500 watts um, today and like I said they're not positioned sometimes they sit in the shade sometimes they're not 1.48 kilowatt hours today still got lots, lots of light left <clears throat> as you can see outside there lovely neighborhood um, yeah so I was telling everybody before um, got two feet or, or three feet of four gauge and uh, less than a foot as promised so the batteries are going to sit right below these things here um, but we're going to build a stand that goes somewhere right around here and so the batteries will be super close and then just be a little rack that will be able to store you know numerous batteries Let's see if I can get a better angle on where that's at so you can get a, an idea so easy of course the Mustang got the batteries got my new eBay hydrometer uh, of the three feet I got left of four gauge. I don't know if that's going to make sense to you, but that's how much I got left, and I got tons of eight gauge. So there's uh, the four batteries we're going to be living off here shortly for about 37 to 40 percent of our own power. So, uh, well, one other th interesting thing while I'm in here, I did a run on the washing machine just to get a quick idea what does my washing machine use. And uh, this is for two loads, I believe. Yeah, 140 a load, it says 2.9 kilowatt hours. Uh, so that's going to run off the solar as well. In case you want to know what kind of wash machine it is. There you go. And here's the incredible mess from living with five different girls. Uh, three, three children and dog and girlfriend. All right. Well, enjoy. Let me know if you all have any questions, and I'll uh, keep making videos as they progress. Sorry about the long rambly one this time. Alright, peace out.